Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to see what is going on if you are in no contact or communication with your person. Uh, if you want your own personal in-depth reading, my website is TimelessDivineTarot.com. All right, we're starting out with your person's energy. They're already talking about you. So they are, if your ears are ringing a lot, that is your person talking about you because they do still love you. Yeah, they're talking to their family about you, telling them that they do still love you. But they are refusing to change something about themselves. Maybe they're refusing to accept the faults that you did call them out on. We do have introspection. The month of April could be significant. You could be seeing a lot of fours during this time period. Okay, so there is something this person needs to cut out of their life, something that is not the best for them, and they have refused to cut that out. And that could be partially what this person is telling their family, like you told them they needed to stop doing X, Y, and Z, or they need to get rid of this person in their life, and they've refused to do that. And now this person is telling their family that you have let them go. You broke up with them over the situation. They no longer have you in a part of their life. And their family's trying to give them the guidance, give them the sense of security of what they need to know that if they do love you, that this person needs to make the necessary changes. Yeah. Divine intervention. This person could be seeing a lot of fours, which is all about stability and structure. This person is being shown on the path that this was true love, that the connection the two of you did share was something that was supposed to happen and that this person does need to recognize that you were here to teach this person of what they need to embrace and what they need to let go of. So let's take a look here. What is your feelings when it comes to this person? What is the collective's feelings? Okay, there you are. You walked away. Nine, nine. So you walked away from this person in the sense of, or I'm sorry, ten, nine, with, because you've hit rock bottom with this person. You realized that it was too much burden, too much pressure, too much out of responsibility. You got bored with it and you decided you were going to disconnect. And you are single and you're focused on yourself. You're looking good. You're feeling good. And you are really happy right now. So... Yeah, it looks like you are trying to start a new passionate beginning elsewhere. Your intuition maybe guided you that it was over with this person, that you've already accomplished what you wanted to accomplish up to this point. So let's see, what is your person's energy? They're talking about you. They're getting guidance. They're telling their family that they love you. Okay, they're looking at their choices and options. They're feeling inspired to make a decision with the justice. This is all about balancing things out, choosing right from wrong, trying to make a decision. This person knows that they need to have a sense of stability. And maybe that's something you told this person. Like, hey, if you don't cut this out, you're never going to be X, Y, and Z. You're never going to accomplish anything or we're never going to be together. This person is evaluating that right now. They are looking at their different options. I'm being drawn to the snake down here, which is coming out of, it looks like class clouds or something down here, but there's a mask next to it. So this person maybe had a lot of people around them or has a lot of people around them that perceive to be somebody who benefits them, but does not. And it is actually hindering your person. And these people are deceitful or a person is deceitful and is just keeping your person held back. And so your person is thinking about what you said to them, whatever you called them out on before you disconnected from your person, your person is analyzing those words that you said to them. So what is the major challenge? Clearly it's about your person cutting something out, but what is the major challenge in this connection here? King of Wands, the Magician, and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, your person juggling with making this connection a priority and a precedent over this other thing that they need to cut out. It could be a vice, it could be a person, it could be a belief system, something that is toxic and negative and holding your person back. So what you don't see coming is the Six of Wands hidden at the bottom of the deck. You don't see that there could be victory and success happening in this connection. So why is the Six of Wands here? Wow, the Devil, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. 10-10. Okay, so your person 
wants victory and success. And what you don't see coming is they're obsessed with being happy with you, being able to love you, and being able to get back together with you and doing the right thing. So your person's actually wanting to step up. That is what you don't see coming, is your person's gonna take the necessary steps to cut out this person, this belief system, whatever this negative attachment that caused the breakdown in this connection, your person is willing to cut that out because they love you. They realize the love they have for you is stronger than their love or attachment to that person or that idea. So what actions is your person gonna take? Let's see here. The Empress, Page of Cups. Three of Wands. Your person could be talking to their mom about the situation and their mom could be giving them guidance that they need to do the right thing to make the necessary steps and plans for the future. They are not right now taking action, but they know that they need to apologize to you in the future and take those necessary steps. So what actions are you going to take, Collective? The Knight of Pentacles, the Death, and the Ace of Swords. Truthfully, you're in a mindset right now where you're not taking action towards this person. You know the truth is that you ended it and maybe it was a slow ending. Maybe it took you a long time to actually finally end it with this person, but you're not taking any action because you know the truth is that you did what you needed to do in your mind was the right thing to do. And, and if that pushed or triggered your person to cut out whatever the situation or person is, then it was worth it. So let's see what the likely outcome is here. King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the King of Swords. Your person's going to gain some um, stability, but it is going to take this person some time. There is a lot of hopelessness, a lot of fears. If this is a substance your person's addicted to, they may go through treatment. There is a lot of separation your person's going to go through. And they're going to honestly see in the end that it's all going to work out. But they are going to be still attached to the memories of the past. They're not going to be able to see the future yet. So it looks like the likely outcome for right now is your person is just going to stay nostalgic and work through what they need to work through. And you're going to continue to invest in yourself. So let's get some advice. What is the advice for the collective when it comes to this situation? What is the advice? You are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on another person. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. An unexpected connection, opposites attract, okay? Because you've released this person. You may have somebody else that actually is trying to come towards you and it looks like this person may fall in love with you also. So you may have to decide in the future if this person comes back to you between this person and another person. Let's get a angel number. One, three, four. So one, three, four. So look that angel number up to see what it is that's gonna resonate for you. And let's get a channeled song. Rumor has it by Adele, which is interesting because this person is talking to their family about you. Okay, Collective, that is what I have for you. If you want your own um, in-depth personal reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. Have a great day, bye.